untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a teamer combo deck titled Body Slam, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, and the deck tries to combine Body of Research with a fling effect to end the game on the spot. So Body of Research, a 6 mana sorcery that creates a 0 0 green and blue fractal creature token, and then we put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it where X is the number of cards in our library, so that will typically be more than 20, and then we can sacrifice that fractal to a fling to potentially end the game on the spot by targeting the opponent. So that's the two card combo we're trying to assemble. To help us assemble the different pieces we also have four copies of Solve the Equation, which lets us search our library for an instant or sorcery card and put it into our hand. And then we've got a bit of a ramp as well to help us get the body of research in play a bit sooner and to potentially cast the body of research and fling in the same turn to avoid any removal spells. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck here. At one mana we also have the full playset of Opt to give us a bit more card selection. At two mana we've got two copies of Negate, which we can also sometimes search up against control decks, so we can potentially deal with any opposing counter spells to make sure the combo resolves. Two copies of Fling just to have a backup, and then a two mana ramp with Wolf Willow Haven that can enchant one of our lands producing additional green mana. And then a two mana we can sometimes also exile the Behold the Multiverse to later cast it for two mana to scry two and then draw two, another way to help us find more resources. Then at three mana we've got our Solve the Equation, Cultivate, a nice ramp card that finds a land and puts one in play. And then Prismari Command gives us a bit of interaction, can also make a treasure token to help us ramp, and can draw in this card to find the missing combo pieces. And then we've got a bit more ramp with Verdant Mastery, which can also potentially put two lands in play and a third one in our hand, even if it does ramp the opponent. And then the mana base, we've got 26 lands total, need plenty of basic lands to go with Cultivate and Verdant Mastery, so we've got 5 islands, 4 forests and a mountain. And then because Body of Research has such a tricky mana requirement, we're not allowed to play a lot of lands that don't produce blue or green mana, which is why we're also playing all 8 Snarls in our colors, as well as the blue-green pathway and 4 copies of Catria Triome. And then because our deck doesn't have any creatures, we can also free roll Kahira, the Orphan Guard, as our companion. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty slow hand, but we do have double solve the equation, which will eventually assemble the combo for us. So I'll try it. And we'll kick things off with a tapped snarl here. Turn 2 we can opt, maybe play another snarl. And then... Gotta find some ramp cards to get the body of research in play a bit sooner. Alright, now that we found body of research, we could also use solve the equation to maybe find something like a cultivate or mastery. Opponent's blue reds with a glimpse the cosmos, so a giant tribal deck. Hopefully they don't have too many counter spells, because we can probably manage some uh, burn spells as our Fractal will be large enough to survive it. Cultivate a great draw. So... We'll get some more lands in play. And yeah, we're on schedule to cast an early body of research, and then I can cast Solve the Equation and Fling in the same turn, so we don't even need to show our opponents. So... Let's Haven... And solve the equation, or I can just keep the solve the equation in hand so we don't show the opponent what's up. Although if they have a counter spell, maybe it's better to cast it now and get an additional body of research. Could have also gotten the fling, although we wouldn't have the mana to both cast body and fling next turn. So we'll just cast a body of research. Guess we'll play a tap land. And hopefully next turn go for the kill. Opponent's digging with glimpse. Giant gains death touch. So plays defense quite well. Find another body of research, so I can go for the fling. Of 
question is when do we cast it? If our opponent does have a counter spell, it's unlikely that they have one for single blues. So I think we just go for it now. All right, and that worked out. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a nice opening hand. Could use some ramp cards, but solve the equation can eventually get fling to win us the game. So Opt is looking for any sort of ramp card we can find. And Verdant Mastery is perfect. Probably want more green mana in play first. So solve the equation, depending on the matchup, could already get fling next turn. Although if we suspect that the opponent can interact with our fractal, we might take a different approach. Opponent a five color path to the world tree deck. Yeah, I'll get the fling. I don't know if we wait until we can cast body and fling in the same turn, or if we are fine tapping out for the fractal, because our opponent could easily have sorcery speed removal like binding the old gods. So, casting a four mana verdant mastery against our opponent's deck, not a great idea. Uh, but I guess I'll give them an extra Forests, which they already have two of in play. So we can get Forest, Forests, Forests, and I guess an Island's fine. So we're one mana off casting body plus fling next turn, so we might wait one more turn cycle. Idyllic Tutor gonna find an enchantment and gets Awaking the Trolls. Interesting. Okay, now the Prismari command still gives me a way to generate a treasure token. So that can still let me cast body plus fling next turn. So I think that's going to be the play here. Could also main phase a command in case we find another relevance card here, but let's pass. So I'm kind of hoping they tap out for waking the trolls. Goes for the snarl. So we can draw to discard to make a treasure. And doesn't matter too much what we discard as long as we have an untapped land we can play. Treasure makes red mana if we need it. So yeah, this should do it. Body of research. Fling. And that's game. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. Double opt for card selection. And one of our combo pieces already in hand, so we just need a bit of ramp to speed things up. And a body of research. And we'll get this snarl in play so we can opt on turn one. Probably play a tapped triome plus second opt turn two. And Haven is fine. Um, it's no Cultivate. Maybe I can do better. Since we still need to find our body of research so we can be picky with our Scry here. Two 
turn one fairy guide mother into Leonin Lightscribe, so an aggressive white magecraft deck. So finding Prismari command to kill the Lightscribe might be important too. And there it is. Gonna hang on to the mountain for as long as possible since it makes it difficult to cast body of research. But I'll main phase the command here before they get a chance to pump up their Lightscribe. Deal two damage and then we'll draw to discard two. Alright, solve the equation, can get my body of research. Don't think this is a matchup where I'm gonna need negate. And then... Basic mountain's a little awkward. So I might be better off discarding it and then... Opt can find more lands to cast body of research or... Find a ramp spell. So next turn we'll probably solve play a triome. And any ramp we find along the way is gonna be useful. Second light scribe's unfortunate. Still gonna deal a lot of damage over the course of the next few turns. And guiding voice puts it out of range of a second Prismari command. Alright, Cultivate was actually a pretty good draw. So let's Cultivate. And then, do I opt or play a tapped Triome? I guess if we opt, there's a chance I can cast a body of research if we draw into it a turn sooner. So that might be worth it, because every turn that goes by is a turn we could be dead. Yeah, ideally we just draw the body of research with our next two draws. So we also have a giant blocker. Don't know if the mono white magecraft deck has a lot of removal for the fractal token. Otherwise, we can solve for body and then might be able to cast it and the fling in the same turn if we find another ramp spell. For now we take eight. So probably going to be facing a lethal next turn in one way or the other. So if I keep Haven, then I will be able to cast Body of Research and Fling in the same turn. So we just need to survive at 9 life facing a Light Scribe and a Guide Mother with a bunch of counters on it. It's not incredibly likely, but if I don't keep the Haven and we don't find Body of Research, then there's going to be a flying attacker that gets to attack past the fractal at the very least. So I'm probably better off keeping the haven. Another fling. So we'll solve for body of research. Play haven. Alright, so just need to survive. Don't love my chances at 9 life, but we'll see. And Guiding Voice is already game. Plus a show of confidence. Yeah, white aggressive decks. Not a great matchup. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. No combo pieces, but a bit of ramp and a behold the multiverse, which can dig pretty deep. And we'll lead with Haven. Next turn we can cultivate and opt. Put on blank green and a hunt for specimens, so the blank green sacrifice deck. They don't have much instant speed interaction or interaction for the fractal whatsoever. So this should be a winnable matchup, assuming they don't have a very fast start. Containment Breach gonna destroy the Haven, I suppose. That's fine. So, can... Cultivate... And then get... Island... Forests. And then I wanna keep the island in hand so I can play the Snarl untapped. And then I can still opt. Opponent hits for one. Don't think it was worth it to keep up Negate for Containment Breach. 
since we're still progressing our game plan, opponent's not really applying a significant amount of pressure. First Mari commands, not bad, but it's no combo piece, and killing a pest doesn't seem incredibly relevant. Now, if they had a Senchmore Witch in play, I would maybe keep it, but we'll bond them. And there's Body of Research, perfect. So I can cast that next turn. And then for now, I can Haven plus cast my Behold at instant speed. And then we just need to find a fling. I guess there was no reason not to foretell this, since then I could still cast either Negate or Behold. In case we do need to negate here, we would get a 2 mana discount on Behold in the future. Strixhaven Stadium, nice. Okay. Well, I wasn't gonna negate that one. And there's Fling, perfect, so... Uh, do I need an extra land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess if I wait, I can play body and fling in the same turn, which is a little safer in case the opponent has removal at sorcery speed. All right, now that we have a backup body of research, I can safely tap out for this. And then next turn I've got body plus fling. So yeah, we should have this covered. There's a Setchmore, which we were talking about. And a Pathway. The cool thing about the Fractal token is that it doesn't die to Heartless Act, because it has 44 plus 1 counters on it. Heartless Act can only remove 3 of them, which is not enough to prevent a lethal fling. Alright, we get to untap, we even have Negate backup. So not much can go wrong here. And our opponent explodes, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, with an acceptable hand. Just missing our body of research. And we've got quite a bit of ramp in the meantime. So... Facing turn one mountain, hopefully not an aggressive deck. Black red. Maybe Mardu sacrifice. Probably still going to cultivate here. And it's going to be a thrill of possibility discarding Velomachus. Okay, so it's a reanimator deck, and they could already reanimate now if they foretold the reanimation card I'm thinking of. So I could consider going for solve the equation to get negate to counter a potential reanimation effect. Or I could go for my own game plan. How bad is it if our opponent reanimates Velomachus? It could hurt. But we're pretty close to just casting fling and body in the same turn. So unless our opponent has more discard effects, we should be fine just going Cultivate, Solve for Body, and then next turn we can even Body plus Fling in the same turn. Yeah, let's go for it. So let's see if they have any relevant interaction for the combo. Will have to be something pretty specific, like maybe a discard spell, since removal is not going to be enough. And yeah, there's Return Upon the Tide for Velomachus. 
which attacks and finds another Thrill, that's not going to cut it. So we take 7, put on Discard's Coma, which they can maybe reanimate later. And as long as we make sure to tap our mana correctly, this should be game. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. We've got the ramp, we've got the fling, and the solve the equation to get our body of research. Facing another Kahira deck. So if it is a control deck, we might have to find a negate to protect the combo. Although green-white pathway indicates a creature deck. And then do we want to cultivate or behold the multiverse? Given that we have solved the equation in hand, better to ramp here. Let's get our body of research. And then we can foretell Behold. So next turn we're going to have 7 mana available, so one short of body plus fling. And our opponent could have some sorcery speed removal for the fractal token, so given that we can afford to, we'll probably wait an extra turn. Right, followed our retreats. Makes another cat. So we're still at 16, unlikely to take lethal next turn, so I can maybe main phase beholds, find a prismari command for interaction. Another solve the equation. I guess I can cast to get a negate, although don't really foresee needing to cast that. I guess it's good insurance. A root Grazer resolves. And then the auto tapper almost got us here. I have to be a little careful with how we tap our lanes. There we go. And 42 to the face to end the game. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing a Yurion deck. And our hands, okay, missing green to kick things off. But once we find a green source, we'll be able to ramp quite nicely. And then, uh, yeah, we're just a fling away from killing the opponent, potentially. Now they might be a control deck with some counter spells, in which case we'll need our negate. Black-white. If it's just a removal-heavy deck, we might be okay. I'll keep Behold, since we can always cast that to find our green mana next turn. Yeah, we would much rather face a removal-based deck than a counterspell-based one. So let's main phase this. Try and hit our land drop, which we did. And then... Sure, we'll play this. We'll have to discard to hand size, but that's fine. And then one Haven can probably go.
retrograde lantern we can destroy with prismari command and we'll lose some life that's fine so i can go haven into prismari command and then i think i make a treasure since my hand's pretty good as is Archon of Sun's Grace. Now that could be a problem. Although we already have a lot of mana available, so we're pretty close to comboing off. And if possible, I want to cast Body of Research and Fling in the same turn. So this turn I have access to seven mana with a treasure. So yeah, let's solve for Fling and then I could even cultivate, or I can keep up negate in case they have a discard spell. And then next turn with the treasure we have enough to body of research fling. Yeah, I'll keep up negate, seems safer. Treacherous Blessing resolves. Only get punished if uh, our opponent drew into two cheap discard spells that they didn't have in hand before. All right, Snarl's useful. I guess I would have had to sacrifice my treasure to cast Body of Research for a triple green before drawing the Snarl, but this seems fine. And their opponent doesn't get a window to respond with instant speed removal, even if they have it. Forty-three damage on the stack. Do they have a response? They don't, and they explode. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. This hand is incredibly slow with triple solve the equation. Let's say I use the first one to get a Verdon Mastery. Turn forecast Verdon Mastery. Maybe it's still okay. Definitely going to be pretty weak to any aggressive decks. And that's kind of the main weakness of our strategy. And even if we wanted to main deck a sweeper like Storm's Wrath, just looking at this hand, it's not trivial to get double reds. Alright, turn to Thrill discarding Dream Trawler, so it looks like another reanimator deck. We drew the mastery, so I can solve the equation for something else, like maybe a negate to counter a reanimation spell. Or I can go straight for Body of Research, since the opponent's a reanimator deck, so they might not have a lot of interaction and then I can just go mastery next turn into body of research and then try to fling on the following turn already I will need to get a red source as well but we can keep that one in hand opponent foretells so we will be helping them out a little bit with the Verdant Mastery, but I think it's worth it. So, mountain, forests, I guess another forest island. And then opponent gets to have a forest. And we will put islands forest in play. And then next turn I can body of research and the turn after we can solve the equation plus fling. So as long as they don't have removal, we're fine. Otherwise, we could take a slower approach where we just solve the equation and then I can still body of research plus fling on the following turn. I guess that's also fine since we're not really in a hurry to attack with our fractal, which, you know, could also be a win condition in some matchups, I suppose. Is your opponent going to reanimate their dream trawler? And then I can solve the equation for 
fling and solve the equation for negate, maybe? Or just solve the equation for fling and keep the other solve in hand in case something bad happens to body research. Yeah, tapping out for body of research, you know, depending on which cards your opponent has, could be fine. But we don't know that for a fact. And then I'll keep the mountain in hand to protect it from land destruction. And, uh, yeah. Pass a turn. I guess I could put a Kahira in my hands. Playing mountain would have had the advantage of keeping a Prismari command, I suppose, but doesn't interact a whole lot on this board. If the opponent tries to destroy my mountain, I guess making a treasure still gives us access to red mana. So maybe there was no real downside to playing the mountain. But now I get to put a Kahira in my hand, which is probably not going to matter. So we'll see what the opponent can pull off here. Seize the spoils, discarding another Dream Trawler. That's acceptable. So they somehow need a counter spell in a deck that doesn't have blue mana, so seems unlikely. And there we go. Yeah, decks are just not well equipped to deal with our body of research fling combo. They might have some sorcery speed removal spells, but those aren't good enough. So our body slam deck performed quite well today. Of course, it is going to struggle against hyper aggressive decks, so probably it's not going to be very competitive in the standard ladder in best of one, where there's a lot of mono red, mono white, and we know decks that can run over us before we manage to pull off our two card combo. But if you're just playing standard to have fun, this seems like a great choice. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.